Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. I got a little update about the Warp 1260, Warp 560 cards. Um, they're ready. <laughs> they need some small fine tuning that the team is working on right now. It's uh, it, and, and the cards run amazing. I'm gonna show you some um, some pictures of the card, and I'm gonna show you Diablo gameplay. gameplay. Uh, the card runs runs perfect with the 68060 CPU, 50 megahertz or what you want to want. Um, I've got some videos where it runs 100 megahertz, 105 megahertz, and I've I have videos uh, where 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 I can see that at 105 megahertz they run just a tad under 40 degrees, and that's when the Mega 1200 case is closed okay um, and runs amazing this fan is controlled by the warp card so it doesn't run at full speed all the time so if you don't uh, if you just want to listen to music and stuff like that then it will it will it won't be that loud this fan solution active fan solution is not included with the package for 500 euros for 500 euros you get the 560 or 1260 and you have to buy your own uh, 06T processor, but this fan, it, I can't say the price, but it's, it's gonna be cheap. A cheap option if you want to run 100 megahertz. It's a great solution, and you can shut down the case, and it looks great, works great, and really, really soon, um, I'm gonna make a proper video uh, review of uh, these beautiful, beautiful cards. I mean. Um, Soon, guys, I, I have made a video where I, that, that was called that it was exciting times to be an Amiga 1200 owner. And you have been asking me so many times every week, <laughs> do you know anything about the warp cards? They work amazing, but I fully understand that, that they want to test, you know, fine tune the last steps instead of just shipping out some products and, and, and saying, yeah, we have some issues and we will make some firmware updates and all that, that's not a great idea. As Caesar says, I mean, finish product and then ship it out. So fully respect, but I also know uh, some of your users, we have seen some projects that looked amazing through the years, but they didn't come out. But, but the warp cards, guys, they're there, they're working and it's gonna be amazing. So really soon. And just like on the last video, I talked about the ACA, ACA 1260. Don't know more about it, but yeah, really soon. Terrible Fire, he is making some uh, live videos. Uh, his uh, TF 1260 looks amazing also. <laughs> also coming up uh, really, really soon. So uh, great news, guys. This is just great time. So uh, as you can see on the background, back to the 1260. Um, from Warp uh, Corporation or what you want to call it. <laughs> uh, this fan, I think it's it's just a must buy, guys. Then you can play around with the CPU speed overclock it just a bit and, um, and uh, yeah, it will cool down the Warp card, but also making an air circulation inside your Amiga 1200, Amiga 500, really good idea, you know what I mean? Uh, 30 year old custom chips, Air circulation is always a good idea. So at the end of this video, as I said earlier, I will show Diablo 1 gameplay running in an Amiga 1200 with the warp card running at 105 megahertz. It's just amazing. Last and not least, I just want to answer <laughs> something that, I'm, that, that I've been uh, I'm still getting mails I've, I've made a video about this for some time ago and you guys are saying why do you all only talk about the uh, 060 cards for the Amiga 1200 and not include the vampire card uh, also excited about that and also telling about that news about that now the only reason I didn't include the Vampire card in the last video about the upgrades for the Mega 1200 is actually I'm not against the Vampire, I'm not against uh, emulation, simulation, nothing like that. 
I, I have made review of the Vampire in the Amiga 600. Fun, I mean, I'm one of the guys that just likes everything new for the Amiga. Every support that the Amiga can get, great. Uh, and, and the team that makes the Vampire card, they're not gonna be millionaires, guys. They just do this for the love and passion. So, of course, the Vampire card is welcome, but you can buy a Vampire card standalone. You don't have to put it in Amiga 1200. You can just have it on the table with, uh, you know, HDMI connection and um, um, wireless mouse and keyboard and have your Amiga all built in in this simulator or what you want to call it. I don't care. <laughs> uh, so if you have that option, so you can use it just like the, you know, Raspberry Pi. If you have that option, why well, have that option? <laughs> then I see absolutely, and I mean absolutely no reason to take my 1200 and put in a vampire card inside one of them. Then I will have the vampire standalone and just use it as it is and use my 1200 or 500, whatever, for something else, you know, have both of the systems. I mean, the warp card, the vampire card, it's, gonna, it's not gonna take that much storage on the table. So. That's why I didn't include that. And I'm still getting messages from you guys, include that also. So this is just a universal answer. And again, I have nothing against the vampire. More power to them, make some more products. We have to, uh, you know, support them and, and get some more stuff because again, they make this because of the love of them. I mean, uh, Jens is not gonna, be millionaire because of his uh, line of um, Amiga stuff at ICOMP and the Warp guys, see, they're, got, they're not gonna be millionaires because of this. This is just made with pure love. There's this guy in, in UK, I don't remember his name, he makes some uh, Amiga 3000 copy cases. Some guy in the UK, I mean, and he has told maybe, I don't know, a couple of thousands. He's not gonna be a millionaire, he does this just because of the love for the Amiga. So let's support everything new that comes out for the Amiga um, so they can make some other great stuff. So this was just a short uh, video to tell you that the Warp Engine, it's not that some of you guys said, is the project gone? I mean, what's going on? We don't hear that much, but it's not that. I'm getting mails, I'm getting uh, pictures, I am getting some other products and uh, oh my goodness, I'm gonna come up with an amazing review really really soon. So stay tuned guys, have a great day out there, bye!